Hello and welcome to the video lecture on Angular Measuring Instruments 2. At the end of this video lecture, students will be able to explain about various angle measuring instruments. The following topics will be discussed in this particular video lecture. Recap of first session which was about angular uh, measuring instruments part 1 that was about protectors, bevel protector, vernier bevel protector, optical bevel protector. Then we will be discussing about spirit level and afterwards we will be discussing about clinometer. Introduction to Angular Measuring Instruments Precise measurement of angles is one of the important requirements in workshops and tool rooms. We need to measure angles of interchangeable parts, gears, jigs, fixtures, etc. So these are the devices that are used to measure the angle of the given specimens. Example, bevel protector, sign bar, sign center, etc. Classification of angular measuring instruments. Angular measuring instruments are classified based on various standards. Line standard angular measuring devices. Line standard gives direct angular measurements from the engraved scales in the instruments. They are not very precise, hence they are not used when high precision is required. However, they can be used in initial estimation of the angles in instrument. Example, protractor, bevel protector phase standard angular measuring devices. Phase standard angular measuring devices include angle gauges and sign bars. The measurements are done with respect to two phases of the measuring instruments. Precision obtained in such instruments is more than the precision obtained in the standard angular measuring devices. Example, sign bar, angle gauges. Measurement of inclines. Inclination of a surface generally represents its deviation from the horizontal or vertical planes. Gravitational principle can be used in construction of measurements of such inclinations. Spirits and clinometer are included in this particular tag category of measurement of inclines. Protractor. A simple protractor is the basic device for measuring angles. At best, it can provide list count of 1 degree for smaller protractor and half degree for large protractors. Vernier bevel protractor. It's the simplest angle measuring instrument. It consists of main body, base plate stock, adjustable blade, circular plate containing vernier scale, then the acute angle attachment. The body of the vernier bevel protector is designed in such a way that its black is flat and there are no projection beyond its back. The flatness of the body is tested by checking the squareness of blade with respect to base plate when the base plate is set at 90 degree. The base plate is attached to the main body and an adjustable blade is attached to a circular plate containing vernier scale. The main scale 
graduated in degrees is provided on the main body. The adjustable blade is capable of rotating freely about the center of the main scale. Engraved on the body of the instrument can be locked in any position and acute angle attachment is provided at the top for measuring acute angles. The base of the base plate is made flat so that it could be laid flat upon the work and any type of angle can be measured. The blade can be moved along throughout its length and can also be reversed. Its ends are beveled at angles 45 degrees and 60 degrees respectively. The acute angle attachment can be readily fitted into the body and clamped in any position. The bevel protectors are tested for flatness, squareness, parallelism, straightness, etc. The main scale is graduated in degrees of arc. The vernier scale has 12 divisions each side of the center 0. These are marked 0 to 60 minutes of arc so that each division equals 1 by 12th of 60 that is equal to 5 minutes of arc. Uses of bevel protector. Bevel protector is used for checking inside bevel face of a ground surface. So here I have mounted this blade. Here the blade is mounted and the stock is placed on this particular at this particular on this particular surface and I'm measuring and my angle is measured. Second, bevel protective for checking B block. Here again, blade is placed here and stock, base plate stock is on the surface here, angle is being measured. Third, workpiece is placed on the acute angle attachment and the angle is being measured. Optical bevel protractor. Optical bevel protractor is recent development of vernier bevel protector. By using this instrument, it is possible to take reading up to approximately 2 minutes of an arc. The internal circular scale is graduated in divisions of 10 minutes of arc. Readings are taken against a fixed index line or one year by means of optical magnifying system which is integral with the instrument. The scale is graduated as a full circle marked 0 to 90, 0 to 90. The zero position corresponds to the condition when the blade is parallel to the stock. Provision is also made for adjusting the focus of the system to accommodate normal variation in the eyesight. The scale and vernier are so arranged that they are always in focus in the optical system. Spirit level. A spirit level has a sealed glass tube ground on its inside surface to a convex form with large radius of curvature R. The tube is almost completely filled with ether so that only a small volume remains at the top part of the blade which contains ether vapor in the form of a bubble. Clinometer. A clinometer is a spirit level mounted on a rotary member. The angle of inclination of the rotary member relative to its base can be measured by a circular scale. There are various types of clinometers. One year clinometer. It consists of a spirit level mounted on a rotary member carried in a housing. One face of the housing forms the base of the instrument. There is circular scale on the housing. The angle of inclination of the rotary member relative to the base can be measured by a circular scale. The scale may cover the whole circle or only part of arc generally used to determine the angle included between the two adjacent faces of a workpiece. The base of the instrument 
is placed on one of the surfaces and rotary member is adjusted till zero reading of the bubble is obtained. The angle of rotation is then noted on the circular scale against an index. The instrument is then placed on the other surface and the reading is taken in the similar manner. If theta and phi are reading of the instrument then the included angle between the surface alpha is nothing but 180 degree minus theta plus phi. Micrometer clinometer. In this type spirit level is attached at one end of the barrel of a micrometer. The other end of the spirit level is hinged on the base. The base is placed on the surface whose inclination is to be measured. The micrometer is adjusted till the level is horizontal. This type of clinometer is used for measuring small angles. Now pause this video for a few seconds and try to write answer to the following question. State true or false. Spirit level is mounted on a rotary member. Probably you have wrote answer to the following question. Uses of clinometer. They are used for checking included angles, relief angles, as well as angular faces on large cutting tools and milling cutter inserts. They can also be used for setting inclinable tables on jig boring machines and angular work on grinding machines. These are the following references. Thank you.